What's up, this is Kevin Walker, and this is True School Sports. <laughs>When you look at the landscape of point guards in the NBA, where do you feel you fit in? I feel like I'm right up there with the, with the best. I mean, I averaged 18 and 9 last year. You know, I feel like those are top five numbers, top six numbers point guard wise. So I feel like I'm just right there. Just the thing that's, I think, holding me back from being one of the top point guards is just winning. You know, the second round, you know, the first round. So I feel like, you know, Steph Curry, once he got out the first round, yeah. all of a sudden, all these top five, one of the top five point guards out there. So. I think set, winning is just setting me apart from the rest of the, the rest of the pack, like the Russell Westbrook's and Chris Pauls and all the other games. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, the Sacramento Kings have taken a risk. They have rolled the dice, and they have signed former former standout point guard Ty Lawson to a one-year deal now this comes off the heels of, of, of Ty Lawson's you know ridiculously huge decline and, and downward spiral and off the, off the court issues that have hindered him from being one of the upper echelon point guards in the league I mean now we talk about when we talk about the best point guards in the league we talk about Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, uh, Damian Lillard, uh, you know some people put John Wall in there, Kyrie Irving, Isaiah Thomas, Kyle Lowry, Kemba Walker guys of this nature but there was a point in time where just two years ago you could say that Ty Lawson might have been the most underrated point guard in the NBA you know um, if you go back to the 2012-2013 season when the Nuggets were the third seed in the West Ty Lawson was averaging uh, just a shade under 17 and 7 um, you know and, and his play picked up as the years went on you know 2013-2014 he averaged 17.6 points 8.8 assists. I know he and, and, and pretty much the same numbers as the following year in 2014, 2015. Um, and he was always one of the top guys in, 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 as far as point guards go. With that in double doubles, you know, he was right there with the Chris Pauls and the and, and the Rondos of the world. He was right there in the top three as far as double doubles among point guards. And um, you know, he looked to be come be, to become. He looked like he was just becoming that 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 the upper echelon point guard. And then the DUIs happened, and then the domestic violence what his wife happened and the Nuggets released him and you know he hasn't been able to find his footing he went he had a, he had a stop in Houston uh, where he was gonna play with James Harden and Dwight Howard that didn't work out he couldn't find his way there and he then went to Indiana coming off the bench for a team that was uh, already a playoff team and, and, and he couldn't find his way there so now he comes to a Kings team you know arguably the most dysfunctional franchise in the NBA um, they have an uber talented you know, big men, DeMarcus Cousins. Um, they have some good young players. Um, and now he, with all of his off-the-court issues and, and, and not even being able to lead himself, he's now being thrusted into that role where he has to be a leader for a team that's been so void, has not had a leader in so many years. So um, it's, a good, it's a good deal for the Kings because they're getting a guy who's very talented, um, who's still, very, uh, you know, you could say as far as years go in the prime of his career, um, it's a one-year deal, so if it doesn't work out, they can just cut him after the season, and they can go on about their business. But if Ty can 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 regain even any of the form he had two seasons ago, then this is going to be a steal of a move for the Kings, and it, it, and it could be the kind of move that dramatically improves a basketball team. Um, Ty, I, when he's at his best, is 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 definitely one of the best floor generals in the NBA as far as setting up his teammates. Um, he always, even in his prime, even when his best, in his best years, had a tendency to not want to shoot the ball and be more a play pass for his point guard. But there were games where Ty could could be the best player on the floor, scoring the basketball. Um, so he can he can play, he, he's like a, he could be a Swiss a Swiss Army knife of a point guard for the Kings. He just has to have his head right, and that's the only thing stopping Ty Lawson from being uh, a really good point guard in this league. But all in all, I think it's a good signing for the Kings. Uh, definitely low risk, high reward type of signing, which to me are always some of the best moves in the NBA. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how you know Demarcus Cousins, who's who's been a noted head case on the court, gets along with Ty Lawson, who you know mentally has not been sharp the last couple years in the basketball court, and off the court has been you know just a, a, a tragedy and, and, and seemingly a um, a cautionary tale of what not to do once you reach you know a certain level in the NBA so 
you know, I'm rooting for Ty Lawson, as you guys saw in the clip before I started this video. You know, I, I interviewed him back in 2014. I've talked to him on several occasions. He's, 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 he's a nice guy, and he seems like he has a good heart, but he just, you know, sometimes a lot of these guys get caught up in the lifestyle of being an NBA basketball player, and they lose sight of the ultimate goal, which is to, you know, play basketball at the highest level the best way you can. So, you know, good luck to cut Ty Lawson. I'll be rooting for, him, rooting for him there in Sacramento, but uh, he's definitely got a lot, a lot of work to, to, do, to do there with the Kings. So, let me know what you guys think. The Sacramento Kings signed Ty Lawson to a one-year deal. Uh, leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So, until next time, take care, guys.